Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my tips on how I get a straight part almost every time. Tip number one is to have the right comb. Now, when Sakura was younger, I did not use this comb in her hair until her hair got longer and I started seeing a lot of YouTubers using this comb. And this is called a rat tail comb and it was a game changer for me when I started using it because it just made hair parting so much more easier, especially that little tip at the end. It just made it easier to create a nice straight part. And another good comb to have for parting is this comb here. I got this from Walmart and not only does it have the rat tail at the end there, but it also has a gap in the front and that just helps with separating the hair when parting. I seen a genius thing a YouTuber did on, on a, in a YouTube video where she had just a regular comb and she broke off the second and third teeth of the comb and pretty much made this comb. So my personal opinion when it comes to parting long curly hair is using the rat tail end of the comb. I personally like the metal rat tail end because I feel like it helps make my part straighter. But I'm sure some of you prefer the plastic end and can make just as an amazing straight part. Tip number two is to make sure her hair is all nice and detangled. You guys will see in all my videos that I do make sure I detangle her hair before I create a part just because it makes things so much more easier. If you've ever tried to part curly hair with tangled hair, you will know that it is a struggle. You're not only hurting her, but it's a struggle for you to get those nice straight parts when the hair is tangled. So I suggest to make sure the hair is nice and detangled. So tip number three is to part in sections. So instead of taking the comb and just parting in one long line from front to back, when I'm doing a middle part, I will part in sections. Usually it'll work out to be about three sections. So I part the hair, then I will stop, and then I will start again where I left off, and then I will again part the hair and stop, and then again start from where I left off. And I really find that it helps to keep the part in the direction that I wanna go because I can stop and analyze and look to see where I need to keep that comb. So as you can see, it's not quite as straight, well straight as I would like it to be anyways. So I usually just call this my rough draft. So I basically have the line where I want it to be and then I just go in with my rat tail comb again and just clean up the part and get that straight part that I want. So my friends, these are my three tips when it comes to creating straight parts, but I do also have to mention that it comes with practice, practice, practice. It wasn't until I practiced a lot that I seen consistently straight parts and even sometimes when I'm in a rush, when I don't have time to do straight parts, I still don't get that straight part that I want to, but I know eventually it will come like second nature to me, but friends, it, it does come with practice. And friends, if you have any tips of your own that you'd like to share with us in the comments below, please do because you'll definitely be helping all of us out and maybe we can just take some of your tips as well. Anyways, friends, I hope this video helped you out. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, friends, don't forget to subscribe for more hair tutorials. We love you, friends. Bye.